right, this thing going. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. 1225, man, coming to you live with another video on another vlog, man. Dash Talk, baby. You know what time it is, man. That's why I just talked to you guys about what's going on through this, this pecan shell head. Like my boy said, I have my job, my thumb head. What goes on in between my two ears, man? I just be thinking and riding, just talking about what I want, you know, what I feel, you know, relevant that I want to bring to the channel, man. So, uh, by the time y'all see this video, uh, I probably should have the Hot Wheels one, man. Shout out to Josh. Shout out to Hellraiser, man. My boy built a fire, fire Mustang. Y'all go check that out in the last video. But basically, I, um, I want to give a shout out to the video prior to that one, man, when I was talking about social media and X and stuff, man. I appreciate everybody that reached out to me. I'm good. I've expressed it. Time to move on. We're going to leave it like that. If you're interested in going to check that out, go check that video out, man. Leave a comment, man. Let's have a discussion. Drop me a line in the comments. You know, you talk to me, I talk back. But anyway, I'm heading down to go visit. Um, well, not visit, but I'm heading down to go get me one of my favorite foods, some wings, and um, Taco Mac, and, and catch a movie. Me and Miss Lacey, so we're going to have a good time today, man. I'm still on a little break from work, so we're going to have a good time. But anyway, what I came to talk to you guys about is like, what the heck has been going on? I know I've been preaching to you guys about cryptocurrency and stocks and all of that good stuff, man, but I have taken a, 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 a virtual beating in the stock world, man. I don't know about you guys, but man, I've lost I lost a, a huge chunk of change, but ooh, man. And now they saying we about to get ready to go in a recession. So I'm trying to figure things out, like you know, am I supposed to like hold on to um, everything that I own right now? Because I read, I went pretty heavy in. Oh, I, I, I got a diversified stock portfolio, but I think I got 30% was invested in the cryptocurrency. So I was in Doge, she, Ethereum. You name it, I was in it. But I have been investing years ago before, you know, it's got as a talking point with people on, you know, on this social media and stuff. You know, um, a guy turned me on about it and I've been investing into it. So I've lost just about pretty much everything that I freaking put in it. And then I went to check my, uh, my 401k. I've taken a virtual beating too. I'm down like 17% of my 401k. So I'm trying to figure out what's the best advice to do. I know they're saying that it's a recession getting ready to come up. And I think everything's going to have a bubble burst just like in the crypto world. Like I feel bad for people that have hundreds of thousands of dollars more than me. They've lost a lot of money. I know I've lost a lot. But I'm thinking I'm just gonna um, I'm thinking I'm just gonna hold on to what I got. That's what I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna hold on because it got to go back up. Because I remember seven months ago, maybe almost a year ago today, uh, going ready to go into the no 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 not a year ago, getting ready to go into holiday last year. I was telling my family about AMC and Carnival and uh, all these uh social stocks, travel stocks and stuff like that that took a hitting during COVID. All that stuff had went down. I think Carnival got far down as maybe 10 bucks. Um, AMC was probably like $5 during this time. Um, GameStop, and, I, and what made me think about it, it was around Christmas time, around my birthday, I just, because I, you know, I've been, you know, trying to help my family get involved with, with uh, Investing, and I was it just it was just a I don't know I don't know where I got the thought from. I just told them like, hey y'all, y'all need to go invest in AMC, go invest in Carnival, go invest in um, some cryptocurrencies. You know, just trying to educate my family. And uh, oh, but anyway, trying to educate my family on you know having some income work for you while you sleep. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, three, 
four months later when I was talking to him about that, AMC just took a, a jump out of nowhere. Um, it just, they, the validity of the stock just went up. I think I'm saying that right. I hope so. It just, you know, people started rushing in and buying and drove it up. I had 15 shares of it. But me not knowing, I held on to it and lost everything back. <laughs> so that's why I'm coming to y'all like, you know, some of you financial folks out there that watch me. You know, what do you think I should do? So I said, sell something or, or I don't know. But I've been hearing about this uh, life insurance uh, policy about putting money over there. I'm, I'm not going to give y'all wrong information, but look into that life, that life insurance policy. They were saying it's non-taxable and you can borrow on it whatever you want to and it doesn't fluctuate if I'm right. So I'm, I'm going to start looking into that and see what's going on with that because, I, like I said, I man, I've taken a beating in the um, in my stock world. I've taken a beating. I lost some money, y'all. <laughs> but like I said, you know, should I hold on to it with you know this recession coming up and just wait for things to go back up? Because I honestly do think things are going to go back up. But we just have to see. I think the housing market is going to take a hit, too. Mark my words. I think the housing market, because, man, these houses are crazy. I mean, I'm, I spent almost seven months with my mom looking for a home. Looking for a home. And uh, my mom just was a little picky. We probably could have found one, but my mom, <laughs> my mom be like, the bathroom tile number 10 over there got a crack in it. Like, what? brand new home, but anyway, I wish she would have found herself around that time, because I think those houses, you know, a year or two ago was kind of reasonably, reasonably priced, but now things, those houses that we was looking at two years ago, they doubled now, they like 300 or something, and speaking of rent, man, like, what's going on with these apartments, man, I gotta make a decision about my place, do I need to sign another least because they're raising my damn, they're raising my rent almost two, three hundred bucks. Not saying nothing wrong with that, but you know, I've been on a, been trying to put myself on a strict budget and they're not giving me a short, a short term lease. They wanted me to sign a two year lease, which is crazy. I'm like, I don't want to be in this place for another whole two years. But then if I move, it is like gonna be double somewhere else so i gotta think about that man i might just let my, my brother take it over or something but that's crazy man they only just offered a two-year lease and I, and I signed a one-year lease prior to this new this new lease that is coming up so it's just crazy out there y'all 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 help me out man y'all let me know what y'all got going on financially what, what, what was y'all making you know um because like i said I'm taking a hit all the way across the board. So I'm thinking about selling everything and buying me one of those uh, vans, the lifestyle vans with this little stove and sink and shower and all that stuff. <laughs> and travel across America. And speaking of America, believe it or not, I was talking to one of my customers, one of my repeat customers at my job. And they was telling me all the cool spots in America that people don't know about. It's a lot of beautiful tourist attractions in America. Yellowstone, that's that's kind of obvious though. You got Yellowstone, you got, like I did Ruby Falls. That was pretty cool. Uh, I ain't been to the Hoover Dam. So yeah, I, I can travel all across America and see everything. Cause I haven't been to all 50 states yet. I definitely want to go to New York. I haven't been. Been to uh, Las Vegas yet? So, but uh, it's officially summer. I'm going somewhere. But yeah, I ain't gonna hold you guys hostage too much longer. Just want to jump in on that financial side and just see what you guys are doing as far as uh, your finances. You know, am I the only one that's taking a beating on their stocks and 401k and all that? Y'all get in the comments and let me know, man. What should we run the dash to, man? What should I run to, man? What I, what I need to do the dash on? 
Y'all let me know. Because uh, it's getting tough out there, y'all. It is getting tough. So y'all let me know. I ain't gonna hold y'all, man. It's been already about 10 minutes. But yeah, I hope I made sense. I just be talking. This dash talk, y'all. So y'all let me know, man, what y'all got going on out there. And I'm gonna see y'all on the next video, man. Appreciate all the support. It's your boy, Mr. 1225. I'm out this thing. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace. Out.